This keeps me going. On those days when I feel like giving up, fire. I believe the storm will soon be over. I believe the rain will go away. I believe that I can make it through it. Oh, I believe. Hey guys, it's Miss T. Lovely coming at you with a video. Long time no talk or see, I know. Um, it's been a few weeks since I posted my last video. It's been a while since I've updated you guys on anything weight loss related. Um, I don't know what to say in this video. I just know I want to try to update you guys. In this moment, I am not feeling very well. Um, Y'all know me. I don't hold my tongue when it comes to what's going on with me. So I'm just going to outright say Mother Nature is visiting. And I don't like when she bring her with her little bags. Anyway. Um, the last time I saw you guys was week, week 81 and I was enduring some things so I guess I will start there and I will try to make this as short as possible um, but before I get into that um, as far as numbers goes you guys I have been fluctuating between the lap between five and seven pounds up and down for the past couple months and um, I know a few of the reasons why but I do know there's also it's also time to make a change now I did debate as to whether well, let me uh, if I should come back after I lost like a significant amount of weight but I don't want to be that person you know what I'm saying that disappears because I've hit a place that is unfamiliar territory for me you can actually say this is like my first real plateau flux or whatever you want to call it on YT but I've documented it all and I don't want to be the person that leaves you guys midway and then I come back and I'm like ta -da! I have lost all this weight look at me now no, you guys see me lose 130 pounds, and I want you guys to see me lose the last 70. So, therefore, I am going to stay the course. You know, if it gets, if you guys are tired of me with the, you know, workout videos and things, um, which I don't think any of you guys are because a lot of you say that it motivates you to keep you going. So, at this point in my journey, I need y'all to actually motivate me. I know it's funny. I said in the last video I may not need it, but you know, at this point, I do. Um, a lot's been going on, and that's what I'm going to get into right now. Uh, week 81, um, as I told you guys, uh, I was put on birth control because I had uh, I had had surgery to have cervical polyps removed, a cervical polyp removed. Um, the week after that, um, I got progressively worse. Yeah, it would happen to Miss T, right? You guys know I've documented everything here from what I went through after surgery to a lot of um, intimate things I've shared with you guys about my life and it's no different today um, so therefore I will share this um, the week after actually I was the day after following that I talked to you guys I don't know in the day in the weeks following after I talked to you guys the very symptoms that I said that I didn't have yeah I got them um, I had weight gain um, I dealt with a bout of depression and all these were the worst symptoms you can get from being on birth control. I was on generous fay and it seemed like, look, the first week I, I had the bloating. And then the second week I was dealing with severe depression. And that's not like me. Like I was working out and crying. Like through all this, I never stopped. Like I told you guys. And if you guys haven't seen that video, pause me here and go over there and watch it. Um, week 81. But um, I told you guys, I worked through it. You know, and... Um, the, I called the doctor and let her know all the symptoms I was enduring and she said get off it right now. I have not been back on one. I'm not a person that's ever been on um, birth control and let's just say Miss T does not plan on getting back on it. No. Um, since then I have had one, two regular cycles. But I'll tell you, you know, that can give you a complex you guys. Going through all that. But that's not it. Um, following that we had a death in the family. My uncle, my husband lost his uncle. And then we just recently had another death, which was on uh, last week. And I know it's like, it's always something back to back. And um, I chose to just stand by my husband. It seemed like, you know, through this time, really just to just be with him. And I'm trying to be there for everybody because you guys, I get so many inboxes from you guys. It is not that I'm trying to ignore you. You know, it's just that 
family does come first family is supposed to come first and you guys are my family too so it's like I'm trying to juggle all these things and I won't lie it got to be overwhelming for me and in a way it can be a little bit overwhelming still because I'm but one person and I can't get any I can't get to everyone and I don't want anybody angry with me and upset with me you know that's just Miss T's heart I have a heart for people I love people and you know no matter what's done to me um, I'm that person that if you you can do me wrong not gonna say spit in my face don't not literally spit in my face Ouch, babe. <laughs> seriously you can do me wrong and it depends on what you did now you can give me a while because I've had some pretty dirty things done to me in my life but haven't we all and I said I like to say that I will be there that's the type of person that I am I'll see you crying I'm, like, I'm gonna ask you what's wrong that's just me um, so deaths in the family and um, things I battle with my body and you know that put me in a headspace I didn't want to be in you guys but through all those things I am still pushing through all those things I actually began a new workout routine which I'm about to change again I started working out twice a day um, 45 minutes to an hour each time so 8 to 10 times a week so the working out ain't stopped and I actually did record some stuff for you guys I'm gonna try to get it out to you I wanna be I don't know how consistent I'm gonna be able to be I'm not gonna be that person say so look y'all I'm about to be posting videos every two weeks every week I'm gonna be her no, I'm going to post them as I can because things have changed in my life that I cannot mention on video. Um, good things. Um, but the devastating things are what has kept me away from you guys. So I hope you guys will forgive me in that regard. Smiles. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm here to go all the way. You know what I mean? You guys have seen me transform. And this is not the it for me. And like I said, I could be that person that walks away and just comes back and, and shows you guys the full transformation. But I want to do it all in front of you guys because I always wanted to show you guys the real and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, I'll be honest with y'all, too. Miss T ain't been eating everything right. Now, for some, what I consider wrong would still be right. But it's wrong to me. And what I mean by that is my diet, and you have to have, your diet is what you eat. My diet has always been protein, um, good carb, and some vegetables and fruits. But in the beginning, it was all protein based, and my carbs were probably couscous. That was it. And I know my, my um, is, Zumba instructor at the time was telling me, she said, You need to up your carb intake. Because I used to get dizzy. I know a lot of you guys were asking me that. You know, I get dizzy after I get off the machine, and da 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 da. You need to make sure, this is why I learned how to make sure I have a carb and a protein before I work out. Now, I already think I've already mentioned that in the video as to why you should do that. Also, you can find that on Google. Um, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, I'm rambling on here, you guys. Um, I just wanted to come on and update you guys. Miss T is still fighting for her life. And, um, you know, I'm still here for you guys. I'm still answering all you guys' questions. Uh... If I didn't already say it in the beginning, hello to all my new subscribers. I do appreciate you coming along on this journey with me to greater health. Um, I thank you to all of you who view me as somebody who is inspiring you and motivating you to be better, your better selves. And, you know, remember, we're all in this together. You know, no one is greater than the next. And we all have the capability. And sometimes we lose um, that spunk and that fire. But you know what I'm saying? We're always there to light it back under each other. And you know, sometimes it's going to be day to day. And in this moment, I will not lie to y'all, that's me. You know, um, it's all about getting in that frame of mind because this, this is what's going to keep you going. No matter what you feel, no matter what your mind is saying, you persevere. You push through. My mind can be telling me all day long, I can't, you can't, you regret, you can't do this, you can't. The body, what is it? It might be the other way around, you know, don't, but this is for me. The mind will quit a million times before the body does. So then this is why we have to keep pushing. Never give up on your journey. Keep persevering, keep fighting, keep pushing through. And you know what? Something's got to give. I've done it before. I shall do it again. So as a man thinks, so is he. So if you're speaking positivity in your life, if you breathe, that with you breathe, that which you breathe and speak, you must walk into. Words don't go in back of us, they go in front of us. So be careful what you're speaking out of your mouth. If you're speaking negativity every day of your life, you are breathing those words into existence. 
Let's keep remaining positive no matter what this is saying to us until we believe it. I love you guys and I thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time with a loss. For sure. Love you. Smooches and all that loves. Talk to you later. The blessing is yours. God's already pre-approved you for it. Come on, Zacardi. I believe that my God